<laughs> sorry. <laughs> I search I search up the word pronouns. <laughs> and the first result is pronoun Starfield. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh no, he made a response. Oh my god. I was going to just react to the original thing. Man canceled for having opinion on the internet. Yes. All right, let's see what this is. This is this is okay, we have to see Man what this is. Okay, all right. His opinion about video game internet goes absolutely nuclear crazy about opinion on video game. You just can't help shovel your dog shit fucking crap ideology into everything. Is this actually about opinion on video game? No, this is not. There's a fly in your room, by the way. I'm just going to point that out. No. There's a fly over here. There's a there's literal there's a literal fly swarming you right now. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just I gotta get rid of the text. There's a there's a literal no. This is there's a fly in your room. Video game? No. He's a, he's a real uh oh stinky. All right, let's oh there we are. See that fucking look at him go. <laughs> I, it's a it's an appropriate way to start your video. I appreciate the artistic choice. No, this is not. Oh, I just want to. I just. I just want to make sure we capture this. Yeah, it's over here. We can see the whole thing, inching over Olivia. Zoom. Get that fly. Get that bitch. All right. Just wanted to make sure. Just wanted. I just wanted to make sure people were. Uh, oh god, this frame. Just wanted to make sure people had a feeling for, like, the 4D nature of this video, the smell of it. Um, just, just making sure. This has nothing to do with opinion on video game. This has everything to do with going after the far-left sacred cow of gender ideology. Man, this is very sad. This is very sad because it's clear that you only see things through a very narrow lens. I guess we got to watch the original just because there might be some people confused if I'm going to go over this one. Hold on. Let's see if we can find that. All right. Twitter. I'm sure I could just find it really easily on Twitter. Um, Starfield pronouns. <laughs> It's so easy to find. He was literally the main character of Twitter yesterday. Um, yeah, here's here's the original one. Here's I'm pretty sure this is the original one here. Um, so he boots up Starfield, a new game that everybody's playing except me because I don't give a shit and I'm not a big Bethesda fan anyway. Um, I just want to say gets to the point where he finds that there's pronouns, and the extent of pronouns existing in the game is. He, him, she, her, they, them, no neo pronouns, no create your own pronouns, but you can create your character in a way where, you know, you, you're allowed to have she, her pronouns in a masculine body or he, him pronouns in a feminine body or they, them pronouns, whatever, right? It's options in the video game. And this is his reaction. And obviously, obviously, obviously it's worth clowning on. You'll see. Uh, Just want to say a little, little something. There is nothing I love more. Taking my headphones off, fuck that. Bethesda, there is nothing I love more than to, to, to sit down, comfy chair, turn on my PC, fire up a brand new RPG, uh, uh, lose myself, think, oh my God, just think of this world. Just think of all the planets I can visit, all the immersive things that I can get involved with, all the fights, all the relationships, all the people I meet, all the places I go. I'm so excited to go there. And you know, I love nothing more than with all of that laid out in front of me. I love nothing more. It does look like his bookshelf's about to fall over, but I think it's just a pers Right? It has to be a perspective thing. Why is he sitting? Why isn't he at an angle then? What the fuck? What's going on? 
<laughs> is it a green screen background? Oh, that's been dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us. You know what's it? I, I find it so interesting that this is in the context of like a futuristic role playing game, right? Like this is this is like an RPG set in the future. Is an RPG like has this guy played Mass Effect? Has this guy played Mass Effect? Because you can you can decide your gender in that game. They don't have they them, but like even if you have like a female character creator, like you have you have enough freedom with the facial animation, the fa like. I created some monstrosities in Mass Effect. I created like I I fucked around with the the uh, customizable face thing to the point where it didn't even look fucking human anymore. Right. Not only that, but I'd like to point out. No one's. <laughs> For you to take such an issue with people being represented as an option, as an option, real people in real life being represented as an option in a video game. I have to imagine that the argument is therefore, you know, you're promoting this as something to be seen as acceptable, and I disagree with that. That he doesn't agree that uh, non-gender conforming people should be seen as an acceptable option, Right? Like, otherwise, I don't understand the criticism as, at all. I don't understand the criticism of having that option. Uh, unless you think that people who don't conform to rigid gender stereotypes or norms shouldn't be... Unless you think that that's something that should be discouraged. I, I don't understand what the argument is. But in video games like Mass Effect and other RPGs, like... These, these games are fucking 15 years old, maybe 20 years old. I don't even know. What did that come out? 2007? 15 years old-ish? You can, you can set your backstory to, like, sociopath. There's an entire renegade option that you can do in-game. So it's, it's crazy that people are taking weird SJW-like, weird kind of uh concerned uh nurse what what was her name reverend lovejoy miss lovejoy like oh you know the society is going to be this when you can you can literally play through the game as a sociopath if you want you can play as a bad person you can play as a person that murders people you can set your backstory to someone that with with really fucked up past right you you so for for the tipping point to be gender ambiguity to these people is really fucked up <laughs> right like why do you feel threatened by that that's so insane and very sad it's very sad that people existing People being represented in any kind of way seems threatening to this type of person. And this type of person is, you know, representative of many others on the internet, which is why they're being clowned on. And it's the exact same reason why, you know, when Parasite won, uh, that fucking... <laughs> that weirdo who, from my memory, looked similar to this guy. <laughs> uh, was doing the whole, the Oscars went woke! And said they should have picked an American movie like 1917, which was British, and got upset without having watched Parasite, but said they chose it because they're not white. The best picture category should be not eligible to non-American movies, and it should have gone to 1917. Like, yeah, when you when you say something that fucking stupid and you get this weirdly piss baby about it. And you make it so easily clippable in the sense that you have a two minute summary of your beliefs and they're everything that everyone's seen these fucking bizarre like uh, egg commenters on X or Twitter or whatever we want to call them. You know, people have seen this shit and now there's a face to it and it's like, OK, obviously people are going to clown on this. Right. So anyway, let's continue. 
Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! It's very sad that he can't... That, that That's a contradiction to him. That pronouns... Pronouns as an option in the video game prevents him <laughs> from being immersed that's insane like this is this is mental illness this is like what what's going on fucking gender ambiguity so and and what's absolutely eye opening about this is like for them to see a futuristic video game including this sort of thing and sorry voice crack and that ruining their immersion means that they think that anything other than rigid gender conformity is a phase. They think they think that that people expressing themselves in ways that don't conform to traditional gender norms, they think that that's a phase and that it will phase out over time and that in the future that won't exist that's insane <laughs> that's very insane that that is not you you don't have to be a fucking psychic to see where the culture is heading it's towards more freedom of expression and less hey you have to do this and more hey you can do what you want you can express yourself how you want if you feel a certain way you can express how you feel okay Right? Like how 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 living under a rock do you have to be to not see that that's where society is going or to even think that that's a bad thing? <laughs> like you have to be so weirdly insular. Right? I don't it's you have to you have to like only exist within certain communities and not understand what the real world is like. It's so bizarre. Fucking current day Californian shit. To think that it's from California. By the way, this is probably a person like we we can assume if he's if he's saying that like trans people or non-binary people or any people that doesn't that isn't gender conforming. If he's thinking like, oh, that's a California thing. Like I'm sorry. First of all, you know, if if we're gonna go along the argument of like you know, why does California get to decide all this other shit? Blah, blah, blah. California and New York. Why do they have the vote? It's like, well, yeah, because people vote, not land. And if there's and if the entire population of California is Sassy baby. Thank you. If the entire population of California is higher than that of Canada, if the GDP of California is higher than many countries, right? If there's an entire country worth of people in California, it's because there's a lot of people there, right? Like you, they're they're people. People are individuals. Like why you you can say you can say ah oh, America shit, you can say ah oh, globe shit. Like you can you can divide people in populations in any way you want, but that doesn't change the fact that there's a lot of people living in California. That a lot of people living in cities, right? It's people people expressing themselves in a way that is non gender conforming. Sure, it's not the majority of the population, but it's not just in California. It's not it's not this weird, crazy like, oh, this doesn't. Ex it's like when Russia says there's no gay people there. They're like, oh, there's no gay people in Russia. Couldn't be true. Like, yeah, it's a it's a small percentage of the population everywhere because we're human beings and human beings are statistics and there's a certain fraction of people that are gay or trans or don't wish to be gender conforming right who cares who gives a shit it's so bizarre and then these people will be like it's so weird they'll be like wow you're certainly freaking out over this guy as if that it, like it's a very very big cope where their entire ideology is framed around contrarianism and no you, right? And so they have to be like, oh, actually, you're the one that's mad. But I mean, you can tell by... <laughs> As if it... First of all, I don't even think it would matter if I were more mad than this person. I don't think it would more... I, I don't think it would matter if I was. I don't think I am. 
but that doesn't really say anything in, ter in terms of the validity of an argument, I guess. Because that's all we fucking know! Because we're boring! I think, I think that my response to this is proportional to what I'm seeing. And this person's response, new Soyjack's response to Bethesda including pronouns is ridiculously not proportional. <laughs> I think I think that's what to consider the most is that my commenting on something that is very insane <laughs> is more propor more proportional than being insane over something that is nothing. Being insane over pronouns existing as an option in a video game, which is just nuts. We're so fucking boring. I've watched this video like 10 times. It's fucking fascinating and sad. Like this guy's a real character study. We can't see past our own fucking reflection. That's the level of our narcissism here. It says the Western Game Company. Fuck your immersion. You know, if you're tired of Western game companies, you could probably find some random Middle Eastern. <laughs> you could you could actually no, you could go uh do Tencent. There's Chinese game companies you can support. You can play Fortnite. You know, Fortnite doesn't ask you for your pronouns, probably, maybe. Fuck you having a good time. Fuck you. It's insane that he can't have a good time because there's pronouns in the game. That's insane. Like that's that's this is uh, this is next level. There, there's a reason why everyone's feeling the need to comment on this and tell him like, are you OK? <laughs> At the very least, like, bro, you good? You fine, sir? Hello, sir? This is a Wendy's. It's just how does that? It's it, it's so bizarre. The people making comparisons to 2015-2016 SJW shit are entirely correct, entirely accurate. This is this is essentially fucking blue-haired feminist, fucking red big red Anita Sarkeesian, all this shit like you are the same fucking thing. You are the exact same fucking thing. And it makes it embarrassing when there's people on your side that are like trying to downplay or trying to like justify and being like, no, it's not cope, cope. Uh, no, it's not. You know, like it's, it's literally the same shit. Like when you remove yourself from the ideology itself, the way you're reacting and the lengths at which you're trying to justify your reaction to something that is just completely harmless and just a, an option for the player, an option for the player who gives a shit. Like, This is nuts. This is absolutely insane. Fuck your immersion. Fuck you having a good time. Fuck you falling into a world and just getting lost. No, no, no. He can't have a good time. He can't be immersed. He can't get lost in a world if he is reminded of the existence of people that might want to use they, them pronouns in a video game. If he's reminded of, of people that are non-gender -gen conforming. This is fucked. This is like concerning, <laughs> but you know, it's, su it sucks because he's not just an individual. He is very much representative of a thing that everybody can fucking see is hap. Well, I mean, has been happening and you know, thankfully the tides are turning in the sense that most people can agree that this person is not mentally well. Uh, I agree. He's a danger. <laughs> he's a danger. Um, it's it's just i feel sad i feel sad for him could you imagine could you imagine if i was watching wonder shows and or something i'm like that joke's too edgy like that couldn't even i'm trying to imagine freaking out about this something like this i'm trying to think of the equivalent for me everything that i am every like group that i feel represented by which barely even exists because i'm an individual in my own opinion you know um i'm trying to like what what could someone possibly do in a video game or a movie that would leave me like this that isn't like yeah i've yelled i've yelled at like art in the sense of 
critiquing the Lion King or critiquing I've I've freaked out in edited videos and also live streams um part comedically part seriously but I I'll, I'll even give you that I freaked out to this degree over what I consider to be art right over what I consider to be disrespecting a piece of art or a medium or just like pushing my buttons but it's not i th i think i think there's a big difference between looking at like the entire art piece or looking at like how how much someone has missed the point you know john favreau watching the lion king or recreating it it's like what the fuck did you see like you're not oh you want to make it a documentary right like there's tons of clips of me reacting like this to these sorts of things but it's not as simple as there's a pronoun in it, right? It's not as simple as, like, could you, ima could you imagine if I was offended over, like, a white, cis, straight male appearing in it? This is, this is the equivalent, right? It's substance, it's substanceless. It's not like, oh, he, it, it's not like he, he was playing a video game and then, uh, you know, w there was like a child in the video game and then the child was like, oh, you can't kill the child because we can't kill children, right? And I guess part of what makes this more irritating and like kind of disgusting is that it seems to be entirely ideologically driven, right? It seems to be entirely ideologically driven where something that doesn't even make sense as a criticism of the art form or as a comment on the art form is being taken seriously by this person as a not just a criticism but something worthy of like a gigantic tear-filled almost rant soy-filled the most soy-filled rant that one could possibly create about something right like it's not even about the video game anymore is the problem is that he's 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 basically just going on a rant about non-binary or non-gender conforming people existing right for for you to be so that would be like if i saw the existence of a certain amount of films in a year and i was like oh there's not enough black people in this or there's not enough women. And I fucking, I, I seriously freaked out like that. Like this is cringe. No matter what political perspective you're coming from, this is cringe. This is insane cringe. Ooh, current fucking day. This is as bad as blue haired fucking feminists and all that shit in 2015, 2016. And if you want to pretend like it's not, Anybody watching, you want to pretend like it's not or you want to cope that it's not and you know that it is and you want to just pretend outwardly in the comments section that it's not and just pretend like you don't think it is. That's fine. But you're going to you're going to see that in how people vote. You're going to see you're going to see that most people don't relate to this shit at all. <laughs> and that you're creating a very insular reverberating bubble echo chamber. And you're going to wonder why fucking people aren't voting for your shit when, you know, you're going to wonder why, oh, Ron DeSantis, nobody likes him. Like, oh, he's just talking, he's talking about woke shit. I, I relate to the anti-woke shit. Why don't other people? You're going to be wondering a lot of things. Fuck off. You're boring. You're fucking dull. You have nothing to say. You are a one hived mind twat waffle. That's all you fucking are! And you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired! You take In your community, in your community, you have a very particular community where people are freaking out about this sort of thing. Most people are fine. <laughs> if you look at polling, like, people aren't as fucking insane about the existence of non-gender conforming people as you are. The average person is not this fucking crazy. Everything we love, all our emotions, all our fantasies. Everything, it's gone. All our escapism, and you just can't help. Shovel your dog shit, fucking crap, ideology into everything. Every single solitary fucking thing. So then, so, so then the question is, is it at all? entirely possible whatsoever 
to include trans or non-gender conforming people in a piece of media where you would be okay with it and not think that it's propaganda is is the solution to this in order for for anybody to to be included in any kind of thing would it would it literally have to be the game saying this is bad trans people are bad like and that would be the only acceptable way to include people in a video game is is that because it, it it feels like that based on what you're saying here, right? Just just people fucking existing, right? How how many how many hours do you think this guy's played of Starfield, and how many minutes within the hours that he's played do you think features trans, non-binary, or non-gender conforming content? Because if it's like 1%, which I'd imagine it is, <laughs> right? Like, that's about the section of population. That, that, that's if you, had a, if you had a an unbiased sample size of the population and you were just like going through the public, that'd be like you'd run into a trans person every 100 people maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the exact numbers are. But like for them to exist at all and you to take issue with the existence of it is just... Is, can't be surprised when people are clowning on you. Like this, this is, this seems, this seems concerning and unhealthy. I think people are concerned for you. He seems like he's going to cry. Like he's seems like he's going to fucking cry. <laughs> Um, exact opposite opinion on Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I saw that clip from the X Man. Um, you could the most charitable interpretation of that would be he was arguing against people trying to cancel the game or boycott the game. I feel like that's that might be a little bit different of a scenario. So I'm not gonna you know I am I have benefited from not commenting on this immediately because now we actually get to see what his response is before. I say anything. Perhaps I misjudged him. Perhaps there's something more to the story. Uh, we shall see. Uh, I like that Babyface is a part of his channel name, though. That's fun. Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. This Friday just gone, we had the early access release for the baby zone. Starfield. Some people are. You got early access. Loving it. Some people <laughs> not so much. All right, we get we get to see we we not only get to see a, him talk about this, we get to see an edited version. So everything that's within this is well thought out, pre-planned. Could have been cut out if he didn't want whatever in this. So let's see what what it is. Me personally, after 25 hours or so into the game, I'm struggling. I'll just be completely honest. When you're in a built-up area, some of it graphically can look very nice indeed. The gameplay is solid enough when you're actually doing something, but that's half the problem. I've found the explorative nature of this game exceedingly dull and boring. I've found the characters not remotely engaging, and the dialogue has has a lot to be desired as long as the credits keep rolling in life's good but having an opinion on the internet well <laughs> heaven forbid anyone have one of those i mean i mean <laughs> you know i'm i'm trying to i'm trying to say i'm trying to stay consistent here i'm trying to stay consistent and i'm trying I like to keep myself in check and try to go through my own memories and go through my own experience. If I'm going to criticize or publicly say something about somebody else, I want to make sure that I'm, it's not like, okay, yeah. Like, is this something that I would be, uh, taking another opinion on if I were on the other side? I like to make sure that I'm somewhat consistent, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to reconcile with the idea of, him saying, oh, it's just an opinion sort of thing. When, I mean, at the same time, like everybody clowning on him, it's like, that's also an opinion, <laughs> right? 
you know i've fired back at people uh giving me shit but it hasn't been i'm trying to think have i have i ever used the it's just an opinion defense i know i have with like controversial issues where i'm like okay this is like a controversial uh you know what's it called uh thought experiment or moral philosophical thing that i consider to be no different than any other right and it's kind of weird that people would blow that up but perhaps that's what he's getting at but i feel like what's particular about this is like the way he is blown up about it there's a fairly proportionate I I don't I don't want to I don't want to excuse people that were like bullying him or anything right, but commenting on it, I feel I feel like is justified anyway. But this video isn't about that. I'm not gonna treat you like you don't know what is actually going on. Towards the beginning of the game, the character creation, we were greeted with a pronoun option. So very current day of Bethesda, because it appears at some point during the last couple of years, Pete Hines seems to have forgotten what gender he is. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why is he why is he so upset at people having pronouns in their fucking Twitter? That's so weird. That's so weird. Never mind. So I went on a little bit of a rant to my streaming audience because I was unhappy with the fact that in every aspect of our entertainment to So like okay, if we used she her pronouns for this guy, if everybody was calling him a girl, would he care? Would she care? <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to intentionally misgender someone, but you know, part of the part of the point I'm making is like, you also care about gender, do you not? Like, you also care about what gender people refer to you as, right? Today, we seem to be pulled out because the people creating it are more concerned with inserting current day into absolutely everything. Bethesda, there is nothing I love more. Are you not are you not more current day than what they're putting in the video game? Are you like this fucking weird reaction to it is more of a phase than people expressing themselves in a way that doesn't conform to traditional gender ideology. Right? You're you're more current day than whatever they're putting in the fucking video game. This type of shit this type of shit is going to get less and less popular as time goes on. People are going to look at this rant and be like, "Wow, that's very 2023." If not very 2020, if not very 20 fucking early 2000 and late. Then to 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 sit down, comfy chair, turn on a PC. Exactly. Starfield takes place in the future. So he has to he has to think that people expressing themselves in a way that is not traditional gender normed he has to think that that is a phase and won't exist in the year 2030 something or 20 2330 i wrap a brand new rpg uh, uh lose myself think oh my god just think of this world just think of all the planets i can visit all the immersive things that i can get involved with all the fights all the relationships all the people i meet all the places i go i'm so excited to go there and you know i love nothing more then with all of that laid out in front of me, I love nothing more than to be dragged out at every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us. I like how it's from his own stream, but the quality is so bad. Like this is worse than the clip I watched on Twitter. I don't know how, why he doesn't have his own footage available. Dragged out. Listen to the audio. At every fucking conceivable opportunity so you can fucking current day us. Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Fucking gender ambiguity! It's funny that he's including this again and standing by it. Because, like, it's it's so odd that he doesn't realize how much of a clown he looks like. You know? It's so... This is... Cr I mean, it's good to have self-confidence. <laughs> I guess, to some extent. Fucking current day Californian shit! Because that's all we fucking know! Because we're boring! We're so f 
fucking boring! We can't see past our own fucking reflection! That's the level of our narcissism here at Bethesda Western Game Company! Fuck your immersion! So I wanna- I wanna hear in this video, since this is like- This- this is a- an edited video. I wanna hear the answers to the question I was- questions I was asking earlier being what could they possibly have done to satisfy you other than just not have any option for anybody that's non-gender conforming fuck you having a good time fuck you falling into a world and just getting lost no 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 current fucking day you're boring you're fucking dull best case scenario he's a grifter and he doesn't mean any of this but i feel like he is actually upset <laughs> you have nothing to say you are a one hived mind twat waffle that's all you fucking are and you wonder why people are getting so fucking sick and tired you take everything we love all our immersions all our fantasies all our escapism and you just can't help shovel your dog shit fucking crap ideology into everything is it an is it an ideology for people to exist or to for an option to exist to play those people in a video game is it an ideology is that an idea? Is that inherently an ideology? If if you're allowed to be gay in Mass Effect, in Mass Effect, is that an ideology? If you're allowed to be renegade, if you're allowed to be fucking renegade in Mass Effect, is that an ideology? If you're allowed to be a minor, M I N E R. <laughs> if you're if you're allowed if you're allowed to be a fucking uh, what do they call the different classes? Like if you're allowed to be a soldier in a video, is that it? Is that an ideology? If you're allowed to be a vanguard, is that an ideology? Is it is it is it an ideology if you're allowed to be a white guy? If you're like like fucking options in a video game. Like what what is it? You can only view things through a very particular lens and it's very sad. It's very sad cuz the rest of the world is fucking just moving on, right? The rest of the world is just figuring things out we're figuring things out we're evolving we're moving on and you're 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 having a lot of very weird particular difficulties about this every single solitary fucking thing now i edited that down a little bit because of brevity there were some pauses that i took out but this was tweeted out by Hassan Piker after that. Not, not originally by Hassan. The clip that I watched was earlier than Hassan and not from Hassan. It was from somebody who supported you. But I'd imagine a lot in your audience will, I mean, or a lot in your spectrum will uh, d invalidate the criticisms against you because Hassan agrees with it. Um, I don't consider that to be a reason to invalidate a criticism even though i also don't like hassan not gonna get into it right now but yeah and vask had put the video out and it went a tinge viral and he says this weird british guy Oh, yeah, okay, fair enough. Losing his mind over selecting pronouns in Starfield is the perfect demonstration for why we must bring back lobotomies. Well, Hassan, at least they would be able to lobotomize me. You, however, I don't think they would actually find enough brain cells. Uh, it's, it's, I was saying this earlier, like, the, the fucking, the entire... Some people's entire ideology is just based on no you. Like, that's the entire... It's entirely just contrarianism and no you. That's all they have. You know, you can't... You can't criticize Trump without someone going like, but Hillary did... Or, but Biden... Like, a criticism can still exist. You know? It's so bizarre with... So, like, uh. And if you don't know who this guy is... Let me introduce you to him. Oh my god, you're gonna play a sh clip show of his worst takes? So... Yes! <laughs> this is so funny! Oh, that's such, that's such a bad cope. 
That's such a bad cope. If I was the if I was the person that tweeted this out, he'd be like, "Actually, this guy is, supports bestiality." If Destiny was the person that tweeted out, he's like, "This guy supports incest." He'd play the fucking greatest hits of anybody that criticizes him. Oh, that's such a bad, such a bad argument. Like, I don't, I don't like Hassan either. That doesn't fucking excuse you. That doesn't mean that what he's saying about you is wrong. I mean, I don't agree with the lobotomy part. That's obviously hyperbolic, but like. You're literally like, oh, yeah, well, look what he said. You're doing the no you. You're doing you. You think that him playing a clip of you being an idiot is such a slight against you that you're like, actually, he said dumb stuff, too. Yeah, fucking every streamer that's ever existed has said dumb shit, right? Everybody's got a clip. You can do this to anybody, anybody that's relevant, anybody that has enough hours on the Internet. You can do this to anybody. Uh, you said America deserved 9-11. Did you mean that? Yeah. <laughs> and that other person that he was being interviewed by was his uncle, Chang Huger. Let's see what Chang Huger has to say about certain things. This is the most irrelevant thing. Just address your criticisms. Why are you turning this into like a fucking... The people that don't like what I said, they have things that they said. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? If I were the ruler, <laughs> this is the most pathetic fucking cope. I can't believe it. Uh, I didn't think it would be this. I I came into this at the beginning of the video. I was like, maybe I've misrepresented him. Maybe we'll find out something. Maybe he'll clarify his position. He's literally just doing no you. He's literally just doing no you. Never a dictator of the world. I would legalize bestiality where you are <laughs> giving. Uh, your... He's just. Put, oh, this is the funniest shit. Pleasuring the animal. You see what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> okay. Why, why now? Why? Why did that happen? I don't know. Oh, Anna. Maybe it had something to do with the. Oh, I don't know. Fucking animals part. What the <laughs> hell is wrong with your family, dude? So needless to this say is that I'm pretty okay with having a conflicting opinion <laughs> to somebody like Hassan. But this isn't just about pronouns. That's the dis. Defend yourself. We're fucking five minutes and thirty seconds through the video. You haven't said anything genuous argument that people want to latch on to so that you don't talk about the gender ideology <laughs> and the intersectionality that's been rammed into every single solitary facet of our entertainment from video games to tv film comics etc etc listen i know i should have been more etc <laughs> forthcoming about who i was earlier yes so in the interest of full disclosure it's the year 2330 something dude how many hours of okay this video is 16 minutes long we've got 10 minutes left even if the entire 10 the entire rest of this video was filled with all the trans shit you encountered playing starfield that's still a fraction of a percent of like what's in the fucking game anyway and even if it was like 5%, even if it was as high as 5%, which I don't believe, maybe I, I'm never going to play the game. Never going to play the game. Even if it was as high as 5%, which I just do not believe. Maybe someone could prove me wrong. It's the year 23 something. Fuck it. Like, what are you talking about? You Where, where do you think society is going? <laughs> where do you... There's going to... That, that's like... I'm trying to imagine a, a good comparison to this. It's like being in the year 1950 and then the first person you've ever heard of in your entire life saying that they're gay. And then you're reading a, a novel in, set in the year 2000 something and you're like, there's two gay people in this? What? They're trying to corrupt us or something. Like, society isn't heading to the point where everyone's going to be trans or everyone's going to be lgbt well maybe bi i don't know or everyone's going to be gay right maybe most people will be bi eventually i don't know we'll see where society goes what like but i i just i don't understand this is this is this is the, it's it's a a future world where you've encountered a few people that don't conform to normal gender ideology. Like, what the heck are you talking about? There's one more thing you ought to know before we head up there. You're I'm trans. Dude. My relationship oh. with the UC. It's 
more complicated than it might seem at first glance. Uh-huh. The UC's actually the only reason I'm here in the first place. Yeah. I am a clone of a man named Francois Sanon. One time fleet admiral. This wasn't even what he was saying it was. This is she What? It's a clone? What does that even mean in the context of the game? I don't even know what that means. A clone. What is this? This is a... Oh, what is it called? It's from an anime. It's a good song, though. Of the UC during the colony war. Former head of the UC... Now, did I have that reaction? Show the whole part. What is it? Like, what's the issue with that? I'm a clone of a man. Guts theme, thank you. Because I'm a nasty, naughty transformer phobia. No. <laughs> when you say transformer phobia, you do seem kind of fucking transphobic. <laughs> like, what? Uh, are you saying you're not? Are you saying you're not transphobic while at the same time saying transformer phobia? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not cracker phobic. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Like, you're saying. <laughs> now, did I have that reaction because I'm a nasty, naughty transformer phobia? Are you trying to argue against that? Like, you're clearly transphobic. If you're, if you can't even say transphobia, if you can't even, if you can't even stomach saying the word transphobia, then you might be. Didn't Hassan get banned? I don't give a shit. Ban me. I don't. I can stream on kick. <laughs> Fucking ban me. I don't care. No, I had that reaction because it was so obvious because we're dealing with current day gaming company in actual fact you could go far as to say we're dealing with current day entertainment in the west it's always the current day who gives a shit who gives a shit in the 1950s sorry i guess it was the 60s in the 1960s when the first black person was in night of the living dead as like a main character well i guess it wasn't the first to be a main character in a, in a film where it wasn't the point that he was black and he could have been another character and it was just like, oh, he's a black guy in a movie being the main character, but it wasn't the point that he was black. That was seen as like a radical new thing. That was current day in the 1960s. That was current day. At the time that it was released, it was current day. The media being released today is current day media. Yeah, duh. What's your fucking problem? What's the deal? <laughs> What's... This is... This is equivalent to everybody clowning on Justin Trudeau saying because it's 2016 you're doing the same shit why are you mad why are you mad that it, that the current media current day media reflects current day it, it, and especially shit that exists in the future shit that it's 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 a, it's a future world people are going to be more trans and more gay and for people are going to be fucking cybernetic, cybernetic in the future. People are going to have body mods that we haven't even fucking imagined yet. People are going to be fucking animal people, right? People, what do you think the future is going to be like? Oh yeah, the future is going to be very traditional. The future is going to be exactly like it was in the 1950s. What do you think? You know, Blade Runner had some fucking imagination, right? There's there's science fiction futuristic films and concepts that exist where they can say, yeah, people are going to be more weird and more free to do what they want to do with their self-expression. It's not going to be about traditionalism. What country, what, <laughs> what country are you living on? <laughs> what planet, you know, is what I meant to say. What planet? Best. Then we have the Act Man, a React channel that has one a React channel 1.8 million subscribers getting mad because a person getting mad. That's such a funny thing to say, dude. You got mad. You got mad. It doesn't matter if I'm getting mad either, <laughs> right? That's not a. It's not a part of the argument. It's about being proportional. It's about being proportional to what you're seeing. If someone's getting mad at you losing your fucking shit. That's a one-to-one. -one. That's a one-to-one -one ratio. If people get mad at you getting mad, that's a one-to-one -one ratio. You got mad because there were pronouns as an option, right? That's disproportional. We're dealing with current day entertainment in the West. Then we have the Act Man, a React channel that has 1.8 million subscribers getting mad because a person reacted to a game by...
what's your fucking argument? <laughs> He's getting mad because I reacted. He's getting mad because you got mad. Your reaction was mad. What are you talking about? By the way, this person recently being cancelled, having his YouTube channel demonetized slash pulled down because he was attacked for having an opinion about something and exercising his right to do so. Are you... It's a bit more complicated than that. And I, I will defend the act man. Not every decision the act man has made, but you know that that's it's a bit more complicated than that you're you're you were very much oversimplifying what the fuck happened there now he's actually jumping on that bandwagon to attack somebody who is exercising their right to have an opinion I he didn't he didn't get his channel demonetized because people were clowning about him on twitter he didn't get his channel demonetized because anyone was trying to cancel him on twitter he got his channel demonetized because of youtube's policies whether we agree with those or not, right? That is, that is a very inaccurate take of what happened there, and I don't want to get into it, but yeah. I guess turnaround is fair play, hey? I am not anti-act man. And I don't have the time to get into the details, but yeah. Don't worry about the hypocrisy of it, dude. You do you. We, we support act man. It was tweet starts off with gorilla shaped man, which by the way, I can't take any other way than a compliment in silverback baby on the verge of crying. We've already had to go into a lie because you want to embellish your inverted. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're lying about me being on the verge of crying. Like. If somebody, if somebody did that in a film, if there was an actor doing that in the film, the director would have told them, be on the verge of crying. To, to achieve what we saw in the original clip, you would have to tell someone to be on the verge of crying. An actor would not do that. They would not get to that level of, of intensity without being told by the director to be on the verge of crying. An actor would be way toned down unless they were told to be on the verge of crying. What you were showing in your original video. Here's your fucking pronouns! And then you have to go away from the... And you have to collect yourself. Right? Like, yeah, you were on the fucking verge of crying, dude, and it's okay. Some Maybe there's some issues that are, like, worth being on the verge of crying for. You know? An emotion in of itself is not necessarily bad. What people are clowning on you for is the weird... <laughs> disproportionate nature of your emotions to a non-issue <laughs> you have an opinion i guess turnaround is fair play hey don't worry about the hypocrisy of it dude you do you he's a hypocrite because he got demonetized <laughs> so it's <was> <laughs> This is so good. <laughs> Starts off with gorilla shaped man, which by the way, I can't take any other way than a compliment in silver. Oh, did I restart? Silverback did I go baby. Back? Okay, On the sorry. verge of crying, we've already had to go into a lie because you want to embellish your inverted commas argument. Shouty man, yes. Ranty man, yes. Angry man, yes. Crying, no. On the verge of does not mean crying. I was not crying. Yeah, you were on the verge of crying, right? Pretty sure there were tears in your eyes. Not, let, not that that in of itself discounts your argument. The substance of your argument is bad. Yes. Ranty man. Yes. Angry man. Yes. Crying. No. Just say it how it is. If you feel comfortable with his position, why lie? Because Starfield lets you pick pronouns at the start of the game and then is never brought up again. All right, eight minutes through, he's about to defend himself finally about what the fuck he meant and maybe change my mind. Eight minutes through, we're finally fucking getting there. Through an edited video, by the way, edited video, we're finally, hopefully, I can sense it, maybe getting there. Well, if it's never brought up again, why do you even have to pick the pronouns? And you would have a better- <laughs> What the- <laughs> It's a- If so, okay, so they recorded different dialogue. 
so like in Mass Effect, a game that came out 15 years ago, in Mass Effect, they had separate sets of dialogue. If you were male Shepard or female Shepard, they had different recordings that would play depending on from the same voice actors and the same characters, depending on who they were addressing. That's the same. It's the same shit. It's the same shit. <laughs> The only way it's different is if you say, oh, you're allowed to choose pronouns that don't adhere to what your gender looks like, right? Or you're allowed to choose pronoun Like, I don't think it shows your junk. This isn't fucking cyberpunk or whatever, right? So it's all it's all appearance based anyway, right? So this isn't even new. This isn't even new. This isn't even remotely new. At a point of argument here, if the game allowed you to skip the pronoun nonsense, what are your pronouns? Skip. Because the game understands that when you've picked- You don't want to choose male? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you not a male? Are you like- You're mad that you- <sighs> Okay, have you ever filled out a government form? Have you ever been asked like what race or gender you are on a government form? Are you- You, you don't get to pick skip. Right? On your license plate, does it say skip? Sorry, on your fucking driver's license? Did you press skip when you when you were at the DMV? What are you talking about? It's a fucking role-playing game. <laughs> the male character, you have male pronouns. And when you pick the female character, you have female pronouns. So if it's never brought up again, what is the issue? What is the problem? Why is it even there? It's there to compel you to do so. It's there. Compel you? That's a strong word. Compel. This, okay. There's a reason why people always speculate like, okay, people who are like phobic of something, you know, they might be thinking of it themselves. If their interpretation of the option existing is compulsion? What the fuck else else are we supposed to interpret from that? I'm not gonna say that. I don't necessarily believe that. I can see why other people might believe that. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Compelling? Power of Christ compels you? Power of trans compels you? What are you talking about? Gain. What is the issue? What is the problem? Why is it even there? It's there to compel you to do so. That's 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 absolutely delusional that an option existing is is compulsion. It's there to compel you to participate in the gender ideology that they've shoved into the game. You can not participate. You can decide to be male presenting and choose male pronouns. You can choose he, him. You can decide to do, you're not compelled to do anything else. The option is exists for you as well. What do you think com compel even means? What are you talking about? This is so fucking nuts. I can't believe this. Oh boy. But again, you're being disingenuous because you're not even addressing the rest of the argument, which is the fact that this is shoved into all types and kinds of our entertainment here in the West. And Fucking buy Chinese games. <laughs> this is simply a straw that broke the camel's back moment. So the person that says it doesn't matter then created another post because I guess it actually does matter. This time with a little 15 second video. Oh no, virgin Starfield hater with me. Oh no, I guess I'm a virgin again. Hey, good for me. Are you virgin shaming? Naughty. And then average Starfield enjoyer with, you know, Giga Chad and the game's not even official release yet, but don't worry about that. Look. This is what it is. I don't care about it. Love the game, criticize the game. It's all good to me. So the guy that said it doesn't matter then's created another post because I guess it really, really matters. Was he saying... When he said it doesn't matter, he was saying the option doesn't matter, not your criticism to the option doesn't matter. So you saying that it's a contradiction for him to be making multiple posts about your criticism is not a contradiction about him saying that the option in the game doesn't matter. 
that is you're you are just incapable of following simple logic simple arguments simple through lines here this is insane the game that's Chris, not that's not a contradiction size the game it's all good to me so the guy that said it doesn't matter then's created another post because i guess it really really matters but this that's not a contradiction <laughs> this time folks he got me i got gotcha by him so i wanted to see what the guy who screamed about pronouns in starfield thought about the hogwarts legacy boycott and i was not disappointed the hypocrisy is prophetic we'll get on to prophetic shortly dude so let's watch shall we i will not be berated bullied intimidated mm -hmm. into not playing a game mm -hmm. because you think it attacks you or goes against your ideology boo fucking who man up fucking pronouns boo fucking who mm -hmm. Man up! Fucking gender ambiguity! You mm -hmm. think it attacks you or goes against your ideology and you just can't help! Shovel! You are dog shit! You think it attacks you or goes against your mm -hmm. ideology? Fucking crap! Ideology! Mm -hmm. Into everything! Mm -hmm. You think it attacks you or goes <laughs> against your ideology? Goes against your ideology? Goes against mm -hmm. your ideology? We can't see past our own fucking reflection! Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yes. And what was I actually talking about? I was actually talking about buying Hogwarts Legacy and not boycotting it because I wouldn't bow down to the intersectional, woke, far left ideological mob that wanted to cancel it because Harry Potter is made by J.K. Rowling. Somehow that is a gotcha. I played the game just like I've sunk 25 hours so far into Starfield. I played Hogwarts Legacy and I enjoyed the gameplay and I enjoyed the story. Didn't prevent me from criticizing the barmaid, which was silly, or other aspects of little bits of wokeness or intersectionality that they put into the game. But I guess once again, you don't actually need context. You just need gotchas. And one final thing. I, yeah, this, this, is, this is the argument that I thought he would make, which is why I wasn't trying to call him out on the uh, Hogwarts legacy thing. I know, so it's, it's really difficult to be a uh, free thinker and have a lot of other people that are like parroting a lot of other arguments when it's like, okay, yeah, it's not, I don't, it's not inherently hypocritical for him to complain about other people suggesting to boycott Hogwarts legacy. Um, you know, him complaining about those people when he's playing Starfield and he's freaking out about it. He's not suggesting people boycott it. As far as I know is, you know, that, that that's not a clip that exists of him. So I would call those two different issues. So yeah, I'm, I'm fine with his argument here. Thing. You mentioned prophetic. Let me just see what your last video up is. The dark side of reality. This whole no you thing is so stupid. Could you, if I'm criticized by a person, if I'm critic, like, I'm trying to imagine who's like the worst person that could make like a fucking call out video against me or something. Would I, would I immediately be like, actually, here's what they said about this unrelated thing. That seems like such a bad argument. Yeah. Like defend yourself, defend yourself on your own merits. Defend yourself on the arguments that people are making. Content, holy shit! It looks like you're the walking embodiment of prophetic, dude. But I'll tell you what I did get from that clip. I got from it that I've lost a lot of weight since I did that video. I would agree, and I'm really happy with the way that my weight loss journey's going. So cheers for doing a side by side there, because that just kind of spurs me on to keep going and do better. Here's just a little good positivity. Good weight loss journey. Portionary tale for you. Remember Volition. Volition, the game studio. Are, are you trying to imply that Bethesda is going to die because it has pronouns? <laughs> that took over the reboot of... It was also a bad remake. <laughs> Saints Row. Volition. The <laughs> Saints Row shit was like not... Nobody wanted to fucking see that shit. Nobody, nobody wanted to play that. Same company that attacked fans of the old Saints Row games because they said that was outdated and it was no longer acceptable and their game was going to be for a modern audience. And also Starfield's not a remake. Volition, who are now 
out of business because the game flopped massively things like this can happen chip away at God people it, like TikTok. chinese torture TikTok, and eventually they'll crack or they'll have a straw that broke the donkey's back moment and they'll stop supporting your games but this isn't about pronouns it never has been it's about everything every it's about everything <laughs> You sound like Anita Sarkeesian. You sound like Anita Sarkeesian when she was like, everything is racist, everything is sexist, and you have to point it all out. It's about everything. It's not just about, like, it's not just about this one part. It's about everything. It's everything's racist, everything's blah, 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 blah. It's everywhere. You sound like Anita... You're, you're literally just fucking Anita Sarkeesian. And if you don't agree with that, and if people defending him don't agree with it, that's fine. You'll see it reflected in how people fucking vote. And you're going to wonder why people don't... F connect with that because you decided that you're not even going to engage with people intellectually See, fine who cares be in your bubble single solitary person that's saying well it doesn't matter only says it doesn't matter when it's been inserted into their entertainment when it's been inserted into their tv film comics video games then they can turn around and go well it doesn't matter but if any of it was removed taken away just you watch them spurg get triggered can we agree is that both is bad can we agree that both is bad what are you fucking talking about both are bad both are bad <laughs> what are you talking they would get triggered to there's a there's a fringe section of the left that would be very upset if there was no option to play a black character yeah you're doing the same shit. That's the argument that people are making. That's why you're being clowned on. That's why people are fucking clowning on you, bro. How did... Are you not justifying their reaction? Could you, like, people are gonna uh, clown on someone being, like, a blue-haired feminist, being like, ah, Rio, there's an anti-feminist, blah, 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 blah. People clown on that. And if they said, yeah, but... If there was the option to include trans people, then you'd see a bald British white man being very upset about it. That doesn't justify it. They're both bad. They're both bad. They're both stupid. You're one of the dumb people. You're dumb. <laughs> like, how do you not understand that? Oh, this other thing that is the exact inverse of what I'm doing politically, but is the same thing, the same reaction that would happen if it was the other way that's bad what i'm doing is not bad what i'm doing is not clownable they're the what they're doing is clownable <laughs> fucking re, brr, re turtle sorry frog as much as i did when i just get sick and tired <laughs> of seeing this rammed into everything look how they would do that too they would do that too <laughs> Disney are performing right now. Disney Marvel failing miserably. Disney live action films failing miserably. Indiana Jones failing miserably. They are failing and failing and failing due to the fact they are ramming in current day and current day is... Is it due to that or due to them just making bad shit? Barbie movie is doing great. Barbie's past a billion. What are you talking about? You made this video when? <laughs> Eight hours ago? Barbie movies breaking fucking records. What are you talking about? <laughs> Turning customers off. And they've been doing it for so long now and ramming it down all of our throats that even regular people... What was current day about Indiana Jones 5? Supposedly that the main character was old in it and not as much of a hero is my understanding is that you're supposed to not like him i guess and he wanted to die by the end of it are beginning to wake up oh you're getting woke which is very different from being woke no <laughs> <laughs> You don't understand that you're just the thing you're criticizing. Oh. Not only that, they're now <laughs> starting to laugh at it and mock it as it should. <laughs> be. 
it's not woke it's being awake to the th realities around you politically and that's not what being woke is be mocked as we see an image of course from the upcoming snow brown and this snow brown <laughs> oh this, okay this is a great defense this is a great defense i love it seven seattle baristas yes coming next year to flop majorly for disney it'll probably flop I agree. It'll probably nobody who gives a shit about it? no way. <laughs> Another fairy tale sacrificed on the altar of interest. Do you think it's just because it's woke, though? Do you think it's just like, damn, it's so it's so reductive and stupid to just only view media through this lens. Right. Do I should I take a wild guess? Should I take a wild guess here? All right. Snow Brown and Seven B Seattle Baristas. Inadvertently based Barbie movie review. So woke it devolves into hilarious satire. I watched halfway through that. It was very funny. You're watching Barbie wrong. Media meltdown that men are embracing Ken. Rachel's eat more Snow White. Blue Beetle, bad film, massive flop. DC dead company. Embarrassing. Se seems like most... Oh, God. I was about to... Okay, I almost thought that we reached the end of it. Seems like most of what you're talking about is through a very specific lens. Seems like most of what you're talking about... Lego goes woke, targets kids in ideological propaganda. So you're not really a film channel, right? Bud Light loses over $6 billion. Then issue non-apology for woke marketing, right? Seems, seems, like, you're, seems like you're a channel just purely purely only looking at things through woke or not woke ideology woke or anti-woke i hate men she hulk like fucking soy jacks he doesn't even understand that he's the soy jack <laughs> uh, oh my god like dude this is your whole thing Are, is that is this all media is to you is it is it literally a, like sectionality i don't care what you want to call yourself call yourself the king of Kathmandu for all i give a shit and give yourself the pronouns of tweedledum and tweedledee that's your prerogative but you can't force me to do that for you you can't force me to go along with your delusion if to do i just don't need to play your game same thing. And that's where we have the butting of heads because you feel that I do need to play your game. You want to... You didn't have to pick any other option in Starfield than what you identify as. You didn't have to do... You didn't have to even... Your, your entire argument was that the option existed for other people. That is contradictory to what you're saying right now you're like oh you can have whatever pronouns you want oh you can call yourself whatever you want Duh, that's why the options there in the video game so that other people can do whatever the fuck they want dipshit what are you talking about now you're oh i agree with people's freedom to do whatever they want you're making me participate by seeing an option like okay if you were allergic to the letter x if you were allergic to the letter x and you buy a keyboard and the letter X is on the keyboard. You don't have to click it. You don't have to click it. But for people who aren't allergic to the letter X, they can click on the keyboard because they they don't have a weird mental problem that prevents th that makes them freak out over the letter X existing on the keyboard, even though they don't have to press it. They don't have to press. You don't have to press it. You don't have to cl click that option. Just knowing that the option exists for other people what the fuck are you talking about this is to not understand why uh, this is absolutely insane compel me to play your game you want to legal sorry compel we're, he's talking about compulsion again this is nuts you want to compel me okay we need to go back even further if to do i just don't need to play your game and that's where we have the butting of heads because you feel that I do need to play your game. What? You want to compel me 
to play your game. Anybody selling a game wants to compel people to play the game. Anybody selling a shirt wants to compel people to buy the shirt. What do you like? What when you're selling? You're creating YouTube content. Ostensibly, you you want to compel people to watch your content, right? Would you like to be compelling? Would you like to create compelling content? What are you talking about? You want to legalize it so I play your game. What? <laughs> to What? Le legalize implies that it's le it, it's already legal to play games are you are you suggesting that it's playing the game is enforced or that you're concerned about a version of reality where playing the game will be enforced oh oh you're not talking about the game oh my god he's still talking about pro he's not even talking about the video game when he says game he's talking about the game of oh, i'm just realizing he's talking about the game of people being called their preferred pronouns and he doesn't want to play that game and when he says legalize he means legally enforce okay we have to interpret what he's saying here because it's just so fucking bonkers if catman do for all i give a shit and give herself the pronouns of tweedledum and tweedledee that's your prerogative to do i just don't need to play your game and that's where we have the butting of heads okay. because you feel he's talking about a different type of game he's not great at communicating <laughs> that i do need to play your game you want to compel me to play and it's also very sad that people existing is like a fucking game to him like it's not a competition people just want to fucking exist what do you it's not compelling you to play like okay i'm trying to i'm okay if he's talking about compelling people to play the game of addressing people by the pronouns that they wish to be addressed as. It's zero places on planet Earth are places where it's illegal to not call someone by the correct pronouns, right? That whole bill that Jordan Pe Peterson was talking about was specifically in the context of like professors or teachers, right? And I don't even think anybody's gone to jail over Like nobody's gone to jail over it. So I don't even, uh, I can look into that later. I can, I can do some deep dive and see how serious that really was. But it seems like even though that was a thing that was of concern almost a decade ago, that nothing's really come of it, right? And that nothing's really happened. Uh, but I, I don't know, maybe maybe there's a bunch of people sitting in jail for misgendering people. I, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, him speaking, speaking the language of saying me, compel me to play your games. It sounds like he's being personally affected by this. Uh, I don't know if he knows any trans people. I don't know if anybody's ever asked him to change the pronouns that he was using for them i don't know if he's ever misgendered someone and they said hey actually i'm not he him i'm she her or i'm not she her i'm he him i don't know if he's ever had that interaction with anybody or if this is just like a bizarre demented fantasy that he has in his head um but apparently it's like a game to him apparently it's a game which the people trying to exist and the people saying hey actually i'm she her or actually i'm he him most people maybe some maybe some absolute narcissists which exist you know cis people are narcissists trans people are narcissists there is no identifier that makes you a narcissist other than narcissism but people ex like people people in every category imaginable gay straight black white no matter what there are people that exist that are bad people that will take advantage of any system right but for most people it's not a fucking game it's not a fucking game to 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 have a preference over what pronouns people use or or what gender people address them as in the same way that correct me if i'm wrong 
but you might take an issue with people calling you she her you might take an issue with with people saying you're a girl right that's a common insult towards males is calling them girls right you might take an issue with that and i'm not suggesting anybody you know uh misgender this person but you have to understand that you right are just as uh much of a person that cares about pronouns as any trans person right your game you want to leave if not more because you're freaking out about it being in a video game realize <laughs> it so i play your game and it's so funny because earlier earlier he was like oh yeah there would be people freaking out there would be people freaking out even worse if it wasn't in the video game Show me the clip. Show me the clip of somebody freaking. Some, show me the clip of a trans streamer freaking out the exact same way you did, or even worse, or even comparable. Show me a clip of a trans streamer screaming about how there isn't a pronoun option in a video game. Show me that clip. If it's happening, it should be really easy to find, right? Show me that clip. And by game, of course, I mean gender ideology. Unlike the mob that went after J.K. Rowling. I'm not telling anyone not to buy a video game. If you're curious and you want to play it, buy it. Try it out for yourself. See what you think. Some of you will like. I would have phrased myself differently if I were him because you are kind of telling people not to buy a video. You are telling people not to buy a video game. You're, what I would say if I were you would be, I'm not saying that other people shouldn't be allowed to play the video game. That's what I would say if I were you. It, it's a weird... It's a weird stance to take when you're saying you're not telling other people not to buy it when you basically are. Like it, probably some of you won't like it. That's the nature of the beast. But I'm more than entitled to express my own opinion. Has anybody said that you're not allowed to express your own opinion? Has anybody argued about uh, against you being able to express your opinion? On the fact that I am sick and tired of seeing current day shoved into every facet of our entertainment that's what you're doing that's what you're do that's literally what you're doing you are shoving current day into every facet of everyone's entertainment now like nobody can just fucking experience media anymore now it has to be some fucking gigantic political conversation because of people like you right nobody can just fucking watch a movie now it has to be some fucking like weird SJW or anti SJW shit because you're scared that the world is progressing and moving on in the same way that it has forever, right? Look at history. Are people the same in the 1950s as they were in the 1900s? Are people the same socially in the 1900s as they were in the 1850s? No, people fucking progress. Who gives a shit? Oh, people in the 1900s were so mad about current day because it wasn't the same as the 1850s. It's the same shit. People progress. This is the trend. This is how reality is. Stop stop trying to fight reality. Okay? Adapt. Adapt or fucking just hide in a hole somewhere and then the rest of the world will be fine. <laughs> like like you're you're the one freaking out about nothing. Television, film, video games, comics. I don't want to see trans people anywhere. Etc 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 in a few days time this will all blow over such is the nature of today's social media as people's attention will be focused elsewhere true and my 15 minutes of twitter fame will come to an end but what won't come to an end is the people that saw the video and said to themselves yes that's the way i've been feeling yes i've been seeing this for a while now Thank goodness there are other people out there. It will come to an it it will come to an end. <laughs> Cause people that are growing up in this generation will be like, wait, this is just a normal thing. Kids that grow up today will be like, oh, trans people exist. Why the fuck is this person freaking out about trans people existing? Right? You're you're a part of a generation that every, you know, just normal things that are a part of humans, humanity, they seem like crazy new things to you because you've been You've been sheltered. You've been sheltered for your entire life. You didn't know that gender ambiguity was a thing that was even an option because you you grew up and you existed in a universe in your own universe where you're like, man, 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 boy, boy, man, <laughs> girl, girl, woman, woman, girl, 
and there was like literally there's nothing else there's nothing else there's no there's no gray area right there's no trans people there's no gay people you grew up and you existed in that environment and so now this seems like a new thing to you there's other people that have existed throughout history <laughs> right forever <laughs> where this isn't their reality and now that culturally socially people are, are being like hey turns out a lot of people existed this entire time and we're just not gonna pretend like they don't exist now you're going like what the fuck you're going people won't forget what i said people won't forget this is good what i said will change generations People will really stay. What you're doing is a fad and what I'm doing will stay true forever. I'm sorry, dude, but what you're doing is dying out. It's dying out and that's okay. Right? Things die out. You're, you're no different than someone your age in the 1950s complaining about some other social thing that was new to them at the time. Right? But you, ha you don't have a firm grasp on where society is headed or how society progresses. You seem to be absolutely delusional, and uh, perhaps you'll never accept it, but uh, society progresses when people like you are no longer around, is essentially what happens. <laughs> that are feeling the same way that I'm feeling, and because of that, they've found my channel, and because of that, they will find other people's channels as well, that they can go and listen to their points of view, their opinions, and understand that they're not alone in this, and more voices will be brought to the table to push back from this utter nonsense that we've been seeing. And a huge thank you to all of you for the outpouring of support. Your voices are and will be heard. And I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Bye for now. Winking. All right. That was fascinating. That was genuinely fascinating. Uh, crazy stuff. Very entertaining stuff. Very sad. Very sad stuff. You know, it's like... You, you don't have a grasp on on what culture is or what society is or what progression is or you know everyone has tests in their lifetime to see whether or not they're going to be like the people that they hated growing up everyone has tests in their lifetime to see whether or not they're going to be like their parents or their grandparents everyone has tests because your parents and your grandparents were faced with new and challenging things in a way where to them it wasn't just oh it's not just because it's new it's because it's new and it's bad it's because it's new and it's bad it's not just because it's different it's because it's different and it's bad for this reason right same justification for being against rock music same justification for being against gay people same justification for being against char two characters kissing on television or two characters being featured in a bedroom did you know that like the flintstones like two characters being shown in a, in a fucking bedroom together was like groundbreaking. Like you couldn't even fucking do that, right? People being more free to express themselves and being less constricted by societal norms. And yeah, sure, you can say, but if we stop doing this, then China will kill us because our military is too gay. And if you're gay, you can't fight, right? the same shit you're you're doing the same shit that everybody's been doing because you're fucking boring you're fucking boring you're doing the same shit that people have been doing for fucking millenniums you and you don't understand you don't understand that that's what you're doing it's really it's it's very sad and uh you know time will prove me right and it'll prove him wrong so who cares He'll be uh, screaming into the void, wondering why less and less people over time support his positions and why more and more people over time are like, hey, wow, okay. It's not a fucking huge deal that you can choose your pronouns in a video game. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs>
Hey everybody, it's September 2023, so here's my $5 and up patrons. Clarice Carlson, Morgan, Tyler Cukes, Nico Fuentes, Joel999, Riggle Moss, Speak of the Joker, Pasha Florence, Joan of Fart, Skinot On, Happy the Knife, Hula Shirt, Just a Portuguese Dude, www.openclassactions.com, Valence, Amil, Blank, Judum, the Kinslayer, Big Guy, T King, Solive88, Josh Jones, Yup, 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 Caden Mack, Charisma, the Super One Player, Zachary Kane, Gilly Flower, Purple Fire, Gabriel Herrera, Hoofy Doe, and Lemonade Warrior is participating in the hit game Among Us and is considered the encroacher. You guys are all the coolest. Stay safe.